All right, well, I'm going to continue my single player file. Uh, beginner friendly, you know the drill by now, hopefully. So we're in day 15. So today the night market start, three days of night market. It's an event that happens on the beach um, in the evenings. And yeah, the traveling merchant's going to be there. So hopefully I'll get my blueberry there. But what that means is it it restricts what I can do. I can't really go for the Skull Cavern finale whilst this is going on. Um, but, you know, I'll work on other things. I got a bunch of money, so... I guess if I'm setting myself goals, um, the coop, I need to get to its final form, if I haven't already. I oh, know I have. All right, no, then it's house. We're working on the house now. Okay, so house is next. Which I'm kind of already there. I've I've been pretty good with making money. I think. I mean, by the time she's done with the house, I should have the money required. So we'll see how we go. Um, other than that, let's see, what's been up? I've, uh... I've been just debating on, like, what to do next in terms of games. <laughs> After Chrono Trigger. Because there's a bunch of things that I have. Kind of just lying there. So one of them is the game Stellar Blade just came out. And I got given a copy of it. So... I'm, like, on the fence about whether or not I want to check it out. Uh, but otherwise, like... I wanted to play Celeste soon. But my thumb hasn't exactly 100% recovered from Hollow Knight. It's not that it hurts, it's just... Uh, it's... It feels like I could get a blister if I play Celeste. Let's put it that way. And I know how that game can get. Um, in terms of platforming difficulty. So hopefully within the next couple of days that clears up. Otherwise, um... I might start like another Yakuza game. Because it's, it's, it's been a while. And I do want to get through the rest of the series. Well, there's like a couple of other retro titles that I am thinking about as well. Like, uh, I wanted to play Metroid Zero Mission. Because that's one that I, I have played once, and I don't remember it at all. But it's a remake of the NES version of the game, so I should be okay with it. Because that's a game that I, I know. Um, and it'd be good for a once-off thing, just kind of play through that game, so we'll see. I'll figure something out. Uh, I've been waiting on the new Balatro patch to happen as well. Before going back to that game. that away. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, hang on. Put that in there. I need to move this stuff out. <laughs> I need a, a chest that... Uh, quite literally for junk, but then you might ask, well, why are you keeping it if it's junk? Ah. Okay. Keep working through this tea.
I'm gonna pick up some. I gotta go shopping tomorrow. I'm gonna pick up some instant ramen. It sounds like hoarding a little bit. That's a little bit. I have a relative that is a bit of a hoarder, so. In games, I can definitely do it. In real life, I don't do it. Like, I was put off enough by this relative doing that sort of thing that I, I just, I can't be like that. Okay, um, I need to get wood, so I need to think. That's a downward spiral. Yeah. No, for sure. The stuff that I own, it's neatly packed. And I have uh, things that are pretty minimal. They're easy to move. Because having to lug a bunch of stuff around if you need to move, it sucks. So, I have things that are pretty, pretty portable. I think the stuff that I own the most is just, you know, my random video games and stuff. But that is because I'd be a sucker to purchase just digital titles. Given, um... Just how it's like here. I mean, I've talked about this plenty of times, but for context, in Australia, um, more often than not, it's cheaper to buy a physical copy of a game than a digital one. And there's a bunch of reasons, but long story short, um, with some of the larger titles, I'm saving a minimum of $15 each time. Like, usually 20. Eh, I tried. So, you know, when you buy three games, it adds up. So, I have physical copies of things. Yeah, it's a no-brainer for that kind of saving, exactly. It's not for everything. Um, it comes down to trust as well, like... If I'm buying a game on PC, I have no issues buying it digitally, because... Like, Steam has proven itself. I've used Steam for a very long time, and, you know, I have access to everything I've bought. It's great. Buying something digitally for a Nintendo console, on the other hand, I bought something for the Wii, and then, you know, they wanted that same money from me again for the same copy of the thing on the 3DS. Like, the virtual console stuff. And then... When the Wii U came around, I was like, oh yeah, these purchases don't transfer. You have to buy them again. So, well, Nintendo stuff, definitely physical, because I, they just haven't proven themselves. PlayStation, yeah, 50-50. But again, that's the digital store uh, on the PlayStation. More often than not, the physical copy is cheaper. It just is, so... Uh, I have a bunch of games, uh, just physical copies of them. Alright, uh, how much time have we got left for before the night market? I might just go in and get some coal. Oh no, I got a, I got a better idea. I will still do the coal thing, but because it's a Monday... The, uh, community board ref refreshes. Prismatic slime. Collect a thousand pieces of stone. We'll do the prismatic slime thing. Even though it's unlikely, it's just try our best. If it appears, it appears. If it doesn't, no biggie. Um, purple mushroom for Elliot. I will definitely do that. I'm going to go home and get it because he might be at the night market. And actually, I need to set up for the fishing, so good time to go home.
I'll just use a warp totem, and I'll also bring one with me. Okay, so put this in here. Get all this. Get this. Got 20 seconds until it opens. Okay, I replenished some of my wood. Um, we got this. Let me bring another one. Uh, purple mushroom, just in case we see Elliot. Uh, totem and a I'm totem. All right, we're good to go. Prismatic slime, you believe? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I love how Willy wants nothing to do with the night market. He just kind of leaves. It's like, I'm out of here. Elliot's not home. It's alright, we'll catch him later, hopefully. Alright, so, the night market event. People hang out here. So, you have the vendor. Um, you get free coffee, so one free coffee. Just grab it. It's free, you can give it to Harvey if you want, but, you know, they sell cosmetic items to put around your farm, which, yeah, I'll do some of that later, but right now, not a concern. Um, sell paintings for your house. Let me get this. Okay, this is the important thing. Okay, um, the rabbit's foot. No, that's great. That is a bundle item, so... There we go. Acquired. Done. Um. So here, you know, they sell the seeds and the missing rare crow. So I haven't gotten this rare crow. I'm going to buy it. That's it. We, I think we have all the rare crows now. Wow. Okay. That's new. Alright. So this here... Be very careful with this in multiplayer. Do this as soon as possible, because it eats up a lot of time, but... It's the Mermaid, mermaid Show. Um, hold on. I'm gonna look up the combo. But there's a code here you can you can place. 15423. Okay, cool. 15423. To get a free pearl. But you have to watch this in its entirety. So in multiplayer, this can be a bit dangerous because um, no matter what time progresses, so you're cutting your time short. <laughs> this is all you can do. You just kick, kick back and watch. Yeah, I don't know what to say to that, other than... Hang on. 1, 5, 4, 2, 3. Gotta remember. 1, 5, 4, 2, 3. That's in reference to the shells here. Okay. So, 1... 5, 4, 2, 3. And there we go, you got a free pearl. I'll pay for the Recro. You can hang on to it, because it's a universal love, so if you give it to someone on their birthday, hey, friendship points. But, sell it. Um, let me just see... Yeah, it's locked, damn it. Oh well. Um, okay. I'm still gonna take this. So with this, um, it takes about a minute. So from the time that you do it, to get to the bottom, it takes about a minute. So it'll be like 9.20 when we get to the bottom, roughly. That's accounting for multiplayer. Maybe 9. 
Roughly known. Okay. By the time it opens up and ready, yeah, it's just about nine. This is why I brought a totem with me, is like, if I want to do some extra fishing, I can stay here until the very end and not have to count for like a minute to come back up and walk to the vendor to get a warp home. Um, there's three fish exclusive to this, so you need to do this. You can also catch the octopus if you're lucky. Oh, come on, man. That's not one of them. <laughs> okay, that's one. The midnight squid. So the other one is the blobfish, which... I thought this fish wasn't a real thing, because the thing about this game is it has things that are real. Because, um, I believe the creator's from the Midwest. In the US. So there's a bunch of things which sounded fake, but they were real. And then there are things that are absolutely fake. <laughs> and I don't know, the blobfish just, it didn't look real, but it's a real thing. It just looks like it has the face of, a deformed face as a fish. And it's a real thing. So we just need to get that blob fish. Because if, if I can get that, that means I don't have to come back down here. But that being said, uh, with the smoke of these fish are worth it. I mean, the admission fee is like a thousand, so you'd hope they would be. Uh, not having much luck. But my hope out of this night market is just to get the missing blueberries. I'll be happy if that's the case, because, um, hey, I did it. All bundles in the first year. Otherwise, it'll just have to wait till year two and the whole, like, island thing that's going to happen. Which is not that far away, but I could have very well have gotten this if I had been paying attention. But I guess in terms of a beginner-friendly thing, it kind of highlights what your options are if you do miss an item for your bundle. It's pretty much hope the traveling merchant grows, uh, gives it out. Okay. I think I'm gonna use my totem to go home, so it's okay. I can stay like another 30 seconds. And when I say 30 seconds, I mean 30 seconds of, like, non-pause time. One more, come on. I believe. Thank you. 
One more, I believe. <laughs> okay, no, that was worse. And we're out. <laughs> I, got a, I got a pearl. Okay, so that was more than worth it. Unbelievable. Alright, um... Let's set some up to smoke. And I'll just throw all of them in here as, like, just further smoking later. Keep the purple mushroom. Okay. Yeah, in bed on time. Alright, no luck. Well, no luck with the fish. But the, uh... Oh, it's on the fault would be 18 minutes ago. Sorry for not acknowledging it. <laughs> Thank you, Misery, for the follow. Jeez. Ugh. The notifications on my end, they're just broken sometimes. Yeah. I, I kind of gave up, like... I tried to fix it. I thought I fixed it, and then it stopped working, then I went back and tried to fix it again. <laughs> yeah. We can't have nice things. It used to work, and then just one day out of the blue, it just became flaky. And I'm just not sure what it is. Like, I, I've, I've tried. I really have. <laughs> yeah, sorry. If I don't say anything, one of two things is going on. Either, like, I'm doing something where I'm hitting my head against a brick wall in terms of gameplay, or something's broken. Or both. Maybe both. Anyway. Here you go. Again, just keeping track of, like, all the rare crows. So which one's missing? It's just... I think it's just the spring one. Yeah. So there's one missing, and then I have them all. Which they'll probably sell at the night market. Alright. It could be worse. It could be... Several years ago where I had bad internet, and man... It's funny, there's like, a friend of mine... I got to know them through the stream, but like... When they turned up, I was playing just Mario. And... I was just playing, and to my knowledge, everything was fine. Because my internet was so bad, it had disconnected me from Twitch chat. So there were people typing, <laughs> and I had no idea. That was the case until someone pointed it out. It's like, hey, why aren't you talking to your chat? And then I refreshed it and everything appeared. Thankfully, they stuck around, but, you know. They didn't get sick of me not replying <laughs> to their messages. Oh, man. Okay, I have good internet now. That's not gonna happen again. But just how insane that was. That connection, if it rained. It meant that, well, there was a good chance that there was going to be a dropout. If there was extreme heat, good chance there was a dropout. When it was functional, it's 6 o'clock at night to 7 p.m. Well, 
that's peak hour, so probably dropouts. And then when it actually worked, it was just, I could do 480p at most. We're gonna have to pry this, like, internet connection out of my cold, dead hands. Four eighty is great for retro games. That's what I did a lot of back then, because um, it was like, hey, yeah, that, that's fine. The resolution for these games are designed for that, so it was all right. But for everything else, man, I, ha I just had to give it up for a while. I tried playing um, Sekiro, like that Souls game, because that was out at the time, and I gave up on it because it was just too many technical issues with the stream and people couldn't watch it properly and then couple that with just the fact that the game was hard like I I put it on the shelf it's it's somewhere on my shelf <laughs> I'll go back to it one day there used to be this thing we did which was the banana test it's it would vary every- the answer would vary every day, but a chat member would type the word banana in chat, and then I would have to say the word banana the moment I read it. And so, by the time my response got back to chat, it was anywhere between, like, two minutes, and I believe the worst was, like, 15. That's how much of a delay. Banana. It's- it's instant. It's almost instant now. Maybe, like, 10 five to ten seconds because i'm using this thing to stream to youtube as well at the same time so there's like a little bit of an extra delay but it was funny because it was just every day it was just someone would come in write banana and then it was just it was fun saying how long it took me to say banana back yeah What was I gonna get? I was gonna get something. I'm a bit, like, tired, so... I need to think. Night Market, Tuesday... So, one of my tools is being worked on. I should... it should be done by now. Um... Hold on. It would have to be the hoe, right? Yeah. So then, the next... You know what, I'm just gonna go straight for the house. I think I'll just... I'm gonna go straight for the house in terms of it. So I need to drop this off. Yeah, I mean... I've just had bad internet for the longest amount of time. Oh, that's right, I was gonna make logs. Okay, got it. Um... I mean, most Australians would know about it, at least the ones that had internet. Um, like, a connection older than 10 years. But when I used to talk to, like, European friends and American friends about my internet connection... Hey, come play! Oh, no, I can't. I gotta download this patch. I can't download the patch. Why not? Oh, because it's gonna go over my download limit. Download limit? Like, yeah, I have a limit on how much I can download per month. What? How much do they give you? Uh, um, like... Uh, 20, 20 gigabytes, and I have to share that between four people. <laughs> Dude, the absolute struggle with that. It's not, it's no longer the case anymore, but that's how it was for the longest amount of time. I think the only thing that's bad nowadays is, uh... Just cell plans, just, they still got very bad data. Where are the mushroom logs? Okay, cool. I'm investing in mushrooms. So this is a- if you don't- haven't allocated land 
too many things, this is a good thing you can do. Which is invest in mushrooms. Since I have the dehydrator recipe, we're going to get like a steady supply of this stuff. Um, I kind of butchered the layout here a little, but I think it should still be fine to do it this way. There we go. All right. Cool. Uh, what time is it? It is 1.20. I'll put some more tea on. I'm still going to go to the mines. It's got a... Oh! Ooh. Why didn't I load that one? There we go. Good enough. <laughs> uh, I have uh, this neighbor that... My interaction with them basically is that I know that they burn beans when they cook. When I first moved into this new apartment, um... There was just this really strong smell one day, and I knew what it, exactly what it was. It's just someone burnt beans. And in passing, it just came across a neighbor, and I said, Man, it smells like burnt beans in here. And their response was like, How do you know it's beans? And I told them growing up, well, I, I, I knew when my mom had burnt beans. So, they burnt beans again, and the building smells like burnt beans. That's That's it. So next time I run into him, I, I know exactly what I'm going to say. It's a very distinct smell. Alright. Well, if I hadn't messed up the bundle in summer, this would all be done. Um, but with that bundle... It's like, everyone gets gifts tomorrow, so these friendship values are going to go up. I mean, uh, there's only like a couple minutes left before the night market. Um... Oh, you know what? I need to deliver that purple mushroom. Five pass for penny. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. I need to find out exactly where they are, so I'm not wasting time. Okay, uh, purple mushroom, topaz, okay, oh, and put these gold bars away, alright, so let's see where Penny is first, winter, okay, so tomorrow she goes to the night market, but today, Okay, she's walking the kids home. We'll be able to get her then. Um, what about Elliot? Okay, he's at the night market. But tomorrow, but today I need him. Where is he? Okay, he's at the library, so that's perfect. They're both there. That makes it easy. What did I do? <laughs> I'm sorry if I do something dumb, but like my brain is... Oh man, you have no idea. It's gone. Hold on. She might actually get up and leave. Okay, and he should be in here. Let's just make sure he still wants it, because otherwise... 
Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just giving him a purple mushroom, and I'm not sure he particularly enjoys those. Okay. We're good. But yeah, I'm gonna try this instant ramen thing that I've seen, which is just... You make instant ramen, whatever you like, and then with the remaining broth, you crack an egg into it, you mix it up, and then you put it in the microwave for like a minute, and it makes... I don't know how to else to describe it other than it's an egg-like food product. <laughs> I don't want to call it mush because that's what it looks like, but it's it's like egg mush. Flavored egg mush. But the idea intrigues me enough that I want to try it. Okay, no luck. I'm gonna go straight to the fishing thing. I didn't bring a totem, so I just have to time manage. So if the t if the clock says midnight and I haven't left, yell at me. Hold on. It's not that I'm incapable of managing my own time and paying attention, it's more like just in my current state. <laughs> that might not happen. And this is just this is just for one fish. I just gotta hope that uh it appears. There's no rush on it, it's just, it's easier if you get it now, because then you don't have to think about this. Alright. Well, just kick back. Yeah, this thing, like, if you saw this fish and didn't know about it already, like, would you think this was real? Given that the other thing is, like, spook fish, blob fish, midnight octopus, but this thing is real, and... It looks freaky both in the water and out of the water. Out of the water, it kind of deflates, and it just, oh man. It just looks like a bunch of Play-Doh. Well, I mean, uh, I paid for this, so I may as well just fish here, but tomorrow I don't have to do this, so that's good. So I can restrict tomorrow to just visiting the uh, the merchants and seeing what they're selling, and then just leave. Oh, you know what? I didn't check if they had the uh, the recro. I should probably check that. I'll go back up uh, eleven. Then I can check and still make it home. Okay, I got a, I got another like little little story. But uh those that have been around for a while, they they know about it a little already, but 
So there's a Steam sale on right now for uh, games of this genre. So it's like, I think it's just a farming sim sale. So there's a bunch of games on sale right now for a farming sim sale. And in my recommendations were a bunch of farming sim games that were on sale. So I was like, oh, I might check some of these out. I'll have a look and see what's on sale. And one of them, long story short, because of how I ruined my Steam recommendations, ended up being a farming sim, but then there's like a, a hentai aspect to it. So, by, yeah, shock value when that came up. And again, I clicked not interested in this, but for sure Steam is still going to show me that genre because I ruined my recommendations by downloading some dating sims for Valentine's Day stream one year. Heading out for lunch. Alright, no worries, Jimbo. Enjoy. Thanks for popping in. I've, I've tried, man. Like, every time one of those games pops up, I say I'm not interested in it. I don't even know which game would have done it, because it's not like I... The games that I got for that dating sim night was, like, anything explicit, because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them must have, like, just made the recommendation algorithm go, Ah, yes. Will is interested in this genre. Now, it seems like I'm stuck with it forever. Give it uh, another minute. I'm almost out of energy anyway. I did pick up a couple of games from the farming sim thing, though. Um, like, it's called Story of Seasons now, but it used to be Harvest Moon. There was, like, a branch off in it. Anything, anything that's Harvest Moon branded these days is not that great, but then Story of Seasons is what Harvest Moon used to be. But uh, effectively remakes of all the hard of Harvest Moon games. Ones that I would have played, like, a very long time ago. Oh, 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 okay, hang on. Sometimes this comes down to luck. Alright, we're good. Okay, take me back up. 11 on the dot, look at that for time management. Not bad. Stay up and 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 stay. Amani, out of the way. Wait, it's not you. I have to check. It's yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, I need these. I'm gonna buy some because I only have four back at home. Um, not the right rare crows. Okay, we can go now. Hold on, like, since you're here, let's just give you that. This is a good event, because you can just hand people stuff as they go home. 
Uh, hold on. I'm gonna be greedy. Where's Robin? Come here, Robin. Am I playing solo? Yeah, this is uh, my solo file. During, during the day. Okay. I don't have much time left to put stuff on. I'll probably get away with it. As long as I'm in bed on time, it doesn't really matter what time. Because I can just fill up my energy with fish. <laughs> Why not? That's what farmers do, right? They put like a gigantic cow behind their bed. Absolutely. Okay, cool. See? Got confirmation from someone that knows actual farmers. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's houses and containing items they posted years ago on the community bulletin. So everyone's happy. And now we're gonna get a bunch of stuff. Iron bar for Clint. Okay. Oh wow, really? Usually, I guess usually when I do this my friendship values are much lower, so they're Okay, so everyone went up by two hearts. That's good. So there's some relationships I need to focus on. Like, I need to get Alex more stuff. You don't know any farmers. The funny thing is... Like, that's what my fam... My family did. <laughs> I mean, not... I'm not... I don't mean, like, me, right? But, like... My parents came from farming families. Last night we were like, hey, did you guys have, like, a giant cow on your bed frame? I think I need to move a little quicker today, so let's just eat one of these. I need to pop into Clint's. Uh, but it would appear that I have enough for the house upgrade. Go. 
You got your capsule card working? Cool. I'm glad it worked out for you. Um, you chose not to have a pet. See, I'd usually be on board with that because the pet, there were so many times it would just get in the way. But now it rewards you for taking care of your pet. The pet can find things around the farm. So it does have more use to it. And some of those can be bundle items, so... I know it, it sounds horrible, me saying, well, the pet didn't have a purpose. It didn't give me, like, a reward. But we're talking about a game. Like, I'm not a monster. Like, in real life, I wouldn't be saying that. But in the case of this, it's just having to water the pet's bowl, and all it does is just prevent you from getting into your house and getting into bed, and just sometimes being a nuisance. I usually... Didn't want to go to the pet. But now there's more use for it. It's still it's still a thing that the pet gets in your way. It's still a thing. It's realistic, what, that the pet gets in your way? But you can step over it. It's not like... It, the pet might be in the way, but you just step over it and it takes like half a second to step over it. But this is... it physically stops you from moving in that direction. I'll water its bowl. Oh. Now that I have, um, the t top tier thing. So hang on. Incubator. I'm getting a dinosaur. You're missing the Jojeron for your achievements as well. I... Did one a long time ago. They've changed it now. There's like a bunch more stuff there, but it's just people don't like going to Jojo Mart. Understandable. I don't need it. Put it in. I need to look up how much hardwood you need. It's less than what it used to be, so... Let me have a look. Give me a sec. Oh, it's 65,000, not 40. What am I thinking? It's 100 hardwood, though. I'll keep saving. I'll get, I'll get there this week, for sure. Um, so we're not going over there. Um. Let me take things to Clint. I guess since... Wait, do I need to? Hang on. Yeah, I do. Okay. Being able to buy the auto petto is so worth going Jojo. But you can find you can find them. Yeah. I mean they don't they don't love you. Okay, there we go. I 
I think these are all new. Except that. That can... That can just go. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think the Skull Cavern's the only way you can get those things... I know, I'll organize these later for now. Let's just shove them in. At this point, I don't collect any of these. I'm not going to use them. All right, uh, we are going to the desert for a little bit. It's the wizard's birthday, isn't it? What's his friendship value? <laughs> yeah, I need to do this. I wasted a totem. No, no, I need to do this. Guess Marnie sells them, maybe? I don't think I've seen that at Marnie's, but then again, I don't think I've been to the super duper late game. bring this just in case, but I'm pretty sure there's one over there anyway. Perfect time to demonstrate the restart of the day. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Plenty of time for that. I've done that already. I've done that already anyway. I think this is, this is universal. I'm almost positive it's universal, but at some point you accidentally set off a bomb on your farm and then blow stuff up. I feel like everyone does that. At some point. Okay, there we go. We're done. You have never, really? You've never set off a bomb on your farm and blown up the farm. I'm impressed. I feel like that happens to me every time I play the game. Not like every time I play Stardew, but like every file. Though I have been on good behavior, like... I haven't had it happen on the multiplayer or this one. I think the key to it is just don't have... Don't have bombs in your inventory, just... Keep them in the chest. Wait, the wrong thing. Give me my Crusader sword. The thing is, I can spend as much time as I want in here. Because I don't have to be at the night market perfectly at five. Sounds like something you do in Minecraft. I think any game that has bombs in it. The possibility. I haven't played much Minecraft, but it happened to me in Terraria. I definitely accidentally blew up my base a couple times. Just may have had to um, rebuild what I did. Because in that one, everything is, is saved as you go. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Uh, it's alright. Just unwinding, busy day. Tuesday is like my longest day. So, I just... Ooh, hello. Just wanted to get some time in with my single player file for a bit. Oh, 
Okay. Multiple dinosaur eggs. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? I got four! That's stream of luck right there. I could have four dinosaurs in my coop if I want. Five, including the one that I'm... Or I could just make the mayor. I don't think having five dinosaurs is worth it. I think two's probably good enough. Just make Dino Mayo out of the other ones. I mean, you can have as many as you want, provided you have the eggs for it. It's just, in terms of production, I don't know. I don't think it's that useful. They don't produce eggs as often. Going to kill through dinosaurs. Well, I'm not killing the dinosaurs because they're eggs. They're not dinosaurs yet. I do need Dynamaya for like a uh, cinema thing later. Thought that was gonna be cool. I'm going to make delicious mayonnaise out of them. Fine. Just imagine, it's like Flintstones branded, you know? You know how they have Fruity Pebbles? Or at least they used to have them here. They still exist in America, but it's like Flintstones brand mayonnaise. It's not that far away from what we already have. Like, they have... They had that really weird, um... I'm gonna say tomato sauce, but, like, ketchup. You know? It was purple. It wasn't great. So having dinosaur mayonnaise... I feel like that's something people would sell. Make it green-colored. You know what? Like, I'm just looking- I just realized I'm on floor 46 and I've only been here half a day. Had I brought my bombs, I probably could have committed to, um, getting to 100. I mean, I had no idea this was gonna happen, but just looking at it right now, damn, floor 52 and half a day's work.
I do need to head to the night market though, so. This would have been amazing if I had brought bombs. Oh well. Alright, I need to go. The luck ring paying off? I think it is. I think it actually is. Um, but I got what I wanted, which is... Oh, damn it, they're at the night market. <laughs> um, I wanted to get the Omni Geode so then I could get the totem back. I still got one more. Okay, uh, let's do a quick deposit of stuff. So that I'm not encumbered. I'll deal with the rest later. This is just so. It's not bad. I need to see what he likes as a present and then stock up on it as possible. Get my free coffee, because that's just going to become a uh, triple shot espresso. I don't care about that stuff. Who? Alex. I'm sure there's a simple answer for it. Well, I, uh, did not luck out in terms of getting blueberries. This, it's not over yet, but it's not looking good. Alex likes eggs, really? Likes or loves? If it's a love, like, yeah, I, I want to find, like, an easy love present. Twenty-five pieces of wood, that's easy. You can do that. That's just cutting down one tree, isn't it? Alright, there's a little bit of time left in the day. Rabbit's foot, yeah. I had to supply them. I do have a bunch of meals that um I've gotten across the playthrough, so maybe one of them will be something he enjoys? We'll see. Uh, since I'm nearby, I'm gonna go give the dwarf a present. Oh my god, I forgot about the prismatic jelly. Actually, no, I kinda haven't. Okay. Because I went to the mines, technically I was looking for the prismatic jelly, just didn't realize it. Um... I didn't see it in the mines, so that's okay. Because you can get it over there, so... If it would have happened, it would have happened. Okay, uh... So, usual rule, always be smelting something. I think I'm- do I need to ship a dino egg? Let's see. I think no, because it's technically an artifact. Alright, well, I'm gonna throw him in here for now. That can go in here. I know my farm does not look great, but as I always say, I'll fix it later. Okay, one more lot of tea and then we're done with the tea. We 
It will be fixed later, I promise. It's just, this is how I am in these kind of games is... I like to get my footing first sorted with, like, how the farm's gonna function. And then I can spend time look, making it look nice. Oh my god. Wow, that was, that was no joke. I probably should have spent the evening fishing there, eh? No, the, this new smoker item is, is kind of amazing. I have enough for the house. All right, house is coming. Uh, what's the luck like today? Annoyed. All right, don't bother. I'm paying attention to the luck. When it's a good luck day, I'm gonna commit to the mines a little bit more. Krobus. Um, Abigail. All right, that's easy. Just give her an amethyst and done. of tea. make some more seeds out of this. It's here. May as well. And it'll make more flowers to put in the desert for Sandy. I think I might have to go with the eggs, like, that just seems good. Um, I think I do have a salmon dinner. Complete breakfast is unlikely. But eggs is probably the easiest thing I can give them. I think I've been kind of unlucky with the yields here. Okay, no, that's a, that was a good yield. If I get a fiber snack from the trash, he likes those. Oh, you mean the, uh... I know what you mean. Those ones that you just make from nuts, right? This one. Field snack. If you like field snacks, I'll just make a bunch of field snacks. It's easy. Yeah, that? Alright, cool. That's sorted then. That should be enough, and I'll go put them in the gift box. Okay, um, I need to take these with me today, because I'm going to go drop them off in the desert. I mean, the eggs I want to keep because, uh, later on I'm going to need a bunch of them for 
making sure I fulfill a cooking order. Like, for some of the recipes that sell well, uh, I definitely want to keep eggs where possible. So I've been sticking to the rule of, like, turn two into mayo, keep one. So then I'm amassing a collection of eggs to use for cooking. I think that'll pay off in the long run. I guess I should also, um... Oh, we'll see. I'm gonna get the house... Ooh, what am I doing? Um, gonna get the house upgraded. Okay, that's it. We're done with this. So now I can start using other things in here. Um, alright. What have we got? Crystal fruit is a pretty good candidate for this. Let's make some crystal fruit and wine. I'm almost out of mushrooms. That's okay, that's why I set up the mushroom plantation. I can also use fruit, so... We'll have a look at what fruit I can use. Do this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go into town and just drop these off. Oh, hold on. Almost forgot. Okay, 100 hardwood. That. Placing seven to eight mushroom logs next to a mystic tree is good. Yeah, I mean, that's eventually what I want to do. But at the moment, um, I don't have many mystic trees. I'm not sure I even have one, but... So I've set up just mushroom logs up with a bunch of trees, because i got nothing else to do with that area yet. So it may as well be that. Some of the new stuff they've added is pretty legit in terms of making money. Have I ever made anything out of wood? I'm sure Chrono from Chrono Trigger has, me personally, in high school, and it wasn't that great. <laughs> it's like, it was a wooden pencil box with a lid that slides out, and the lid was not well made. It was like, it wouldn't sit flush. That's right, I failed at making a box. I mean, the artwork I did on the box was cool. The box itself? Terrible. Aesthetic. Man, Demetrius. The poor posts them inefficient. 
How else do you make? How else do you make a bed? Okay, my bed doesn't have posts, but still. I will say if I'm getting a if I'm getting a bed, the bed that I have is is great. It's so easy to um to take apart, and it looks pretty good. Okay, upgrade house. 65,000 and 100 pieces of hardwood. We are done. While we're here. I'm gonna purchase two wood chippers. So we can get a little bit more recycling going. The phone is pointless. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, unless you want, you know, the completionist thing. But it's... It really doesn't offer much. Alright. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna drop off these snacks in the box, and I may as well give him one, and I'll head to the desert. Oh, and I need to drop this off as well. Click skip, you ain't getting involved in the argument. Well, some of the dialogue does give friendship values. So it is worth doing in that regard. Some of them actually give items as well. And you don't get the item if you skip. I don't know, man. Like, that guy is just about being technically correct. That's his whole personality. Technically correct. I forgot to give Robin the single piece of wood that I brought. It's alright. The best kind of correct. Uh, I mean... Where is he? He's not here. I think... The problem is he's doing it to be smug. You know? Because sometimes you can come off as just... Kind of being a bit of a wanker. The the best example is that whole argument they have about whether tomato is a fruit or a vegetable. And it's like, he's technically correct to fruit, but then in the context of, like, how a fruit was requested, he's just being a, a, an idiot. But like, my response to that would be, for his next birthday, make him a cake, but then... Just put tomato instead of strawberries or something, and then be like, what? It's- it's a fruit. Don't think he's being smug. I don't know, because there's that whole exchange with, like... He tells you that he doesn't want anything getting in the way of his daughter's future, and it's like, well, what do you mean? What's the implication here? He makes it sound like we're a bad influence when, you know... We're doing a bunch of things to make the community better. We run a business. A successful one at that. And then he has the goal to be like, I don't want anything to ruin her future. Okay, man. I don't know. Oh crap, did I need to talk to Robin again for the wood gathering thing? Hang on. This is the last day. Sorry. Ah. What day is it? It's Thursday. By the time by the time I get there.
Okay, no, you know what? Do it. Okay. I need to be quick. It's two quests. Otherwise, the same thing's gonna happen for the stone one. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to struggles with time management. I can turn this into a day where I'm looking for it in the normal mines and just get coal. That's fine. There we go. I think that was worthwhile. Alright. Uh... Yeah. This might be boring, I'm sorry. <laughs> but... It's the best use of time. I can get a bunch of coal this way. And, at the same time, still look for the slime. But this is how I get coal. If I'm playing single player. Just keep going to floor... These two floors. And just repeat. But, uh, because we're doing, like, a lot of fish smoking... It's useful. Also, whenever there's a big rock, I'll just hit the big rock, so then I'm getting stone along the way as well. I would have liked to have stuck around in the other ones, but if it would have been just one quest, I would have let it go, but because both of them involved talking to Robin, it just made sense. Plus, it's also a bad luck day today, so, eh. Uh, can have a better go at it tomorrow. It's funny how everyone has different perceptions on uh, just what characters they like and dislike. Bad luck means more enemies. It it does. Ah! <laughs> it's yeah. I got it. Oh. Okay. Uh, ha, ah, this is one of the new floors. Okay, now I gotta go deliver this. Um, but I guess I'm after progression more than coal. Like, I would like to progress them to a hundred if possible. Okay, um... Four days away, but I should just get it out of the way today. I can't believe it appeared there. That was lucky. Everything went according to plan. The thing is, even with the bad luck day, just doing that loop very quickly, you get more coal. Because it, it takes nothing to swipe out those things. It's like a one shot. And you take out a whole pack of them. And then you just loop the floor. It's pretty quick. You'd be surprised how quickly you get coal that way. And there's less risk. Like, I'm competent in my combat. I don't believe that I'll faint. But, you know, there's always a chance. Here you go. I 
I guess because right now there's, I couldn't go back to the desert because I didn't have a totem, and, um... Yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I couldn't go back to the desert. I would have stuck around if I could. But those mines, they're not a bad alternative. I guess while I'm here... Oh, that'd be right. The one thing I gotta make sure I don't neglect is I need to get sap. I might plant a hardwood tree and tap it. The sap is now something you need way later on. I can just leave that there. I'm gonna be up this way tomorrow anyway for the traveling merchant. So that'll all be there tomorrow. What do you need sap for? Um, in the very late game, there's an item you craft that requires a thousand sap. So if you haven't been amassing it and kind of just ditching it because you see it as a not important item or you've been using it for uh, fertilizer, you're not going to have a thousand. I'm not sure how much I have right now. Let's see. All right, I have, I have, I have about a thousand. It depends. Like, if you're constantly making fertilizer, that's where you're not going to have it. But I haven't been making fertilizer, so I have a thousand. You have a whole chest full of sap? <laughs> Why would you have a whole... See, now that's hoarding. Damn it. It's alright. As long as I'm in the house, there's no penalty. And it's easily fixable, just, hey, in the morning, eat one of these, there we go, we're fine. Okay, it's neutral, but it's worth going there. Monster Musk. See, with Monster Musk, you can make more uh, gains with like the whole sprite thing. Oh my god, Robins. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really funny. That is really funny. She's she's inside my uh my smelter there. I'm not trying to- I'm trying to use my- <laughs> I unfortunately didn't have the fiber seed recipe yet, so I'm probably going to be short. Wait, they've made the prime sub option hard to find? Really? <laughs> well, thanks, Lolo. Appreciate the sacrifice in finding that button. It's funny, there's like, 
there's a bunch of streamers that have been calling that, that they're just going to make it harder and harder for people to redeem their Prime sub. <laughs> oh, thank you for the Prime sub as well, Misery. Appreciate it a lot. Oh no, it's that... it's the hype train thingy. <laughs> Banana. Anyway, how's it going, dude? How... how's things? I saw that, um, you guys were talking about paper plates, and I kind of agree with the sentiment as, like, I don't mind paper plates in general. It's fine, but for something like soup, I don't know, man. That's a, that's a tough sell, because you're kind of on the clock there. Instead of having, like, a relaxing meal, you're worried about the structural integrity of what you're eating out of. The straws don't bother me too much. Having to use a... Because I, I guess I don't use straws. Is there something wrong with that? Like... Does anyone else not use straws? I don't. I don't know. I, I think the only time I do is for something like, say, a milkshake. Where it doesn't make sense to be able to just tip the cup and drink it that way. But if it's, say, for soda or, like... Uh, just a normal beverage? Yeah. Boba tea is probably the other one that's just, yeah, it's a straw. It's fine for relatively dry meals, but like ramen, the bowls were soggy at the end. Yeah. I get it. It's... I think... <laughs> Thanks for the bits as well. <laughs> what does it say? I don't even know. It says 81%, so I don't even know what's required. It just rarely happens here. You can add exclusive emotes if you just redeem your Prime sub. It make the overlords at Amazon happy. <laughs> yeah, well. They're listening. You know... You s I know you're saying that to kind of joke, but dude, the times we've had conversations and then... The next day I see something relating to the thing we're talking about, I don't know, man. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they are. The train. <laughs> Thank you, Nikto. I mean, it's at 80. There's like a minute left on it. Such a FOMO thing. No blueberry. <laughs> oh well. I don't think it's gonna happen. It says 99%, are you kidding? Now it's- now it's- now it's just messing with- now it's just messing with us. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, no, it's a very it's a very good strategy. And then there's the big fireworks and everything. Just need the rave lights to happen. Oh, thank you, everyone. I do appreciate it. And hey, you, you get something out of it, I think. Hold on. Like that one kid? One... Which kid? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Just... Had to look into something real quick. Alright, uh... I should... Probably go into town first and give stuff. But uh, thank you for the gift sub there, Nectar. Okay, uh, field snack. We'll give Krobus a present as well. Now I'm confused, like that one kid, which kid? Wait, I was about to give... He's not here, is he? He's not even here. He's not standing outside either. Oh, that one kid streaming that went viral because he had a rave in his room. Yeah, and he had like the fog machine and the, uh, the pyrotechnics and stuff going off as well. Yeah. I mean, that was funny. That got a good laugh out of me. I can respect that. You gotta appreciate the effort. Let's go. Yeah, I think if I set up something like that, set off the fire alarms. <laughs> Let me see how far I can get. So I mean at this point, oh yeah, I gotta look up what day you can trade Jade for stairs. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm not wrong, Sunday. See. Yeah, the, I think the, the one where he had filed that made me laugh. Like, how, how did that kid have access to that? He's got to have, a, like, a relative that's in the business or something. <laughs> you know what? Maybe the, the other day where, like, I heard rave music at, like, 9 in the morning. Who knows? Maybe there's... Some kid that's set up streaming and is doing the exact same thing. You never know. Nope. 
There you go. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your uh, emotes. Probably eight this and I have extra luck. Oh, that's the one we got? That's kinda cool. Man, they really know how to uh how to get adults, don't they? <laughs> it's just very easy. I think this ring is making a difference. I don't know if it's just me, but... These runs, despite me getting here at past midday, it's gone pretty well. I'll see how much jade I have. I might make an end bombs. I might make an attempt at a hundred on uh, the Sunday, pending the luck. Keyboard had a complete meltdown the other day, and the experience made you realize that we really do live in the future, because you went on Amazon, ordered one, and it was at your door the next morning. <laughs> I mean, that's... the convenience is nice, but like, at the same time, don't you feel like stuff that was made in the past would have lasted longer? I mean, I feel like stuff just doesn't last anymore. And I, I point to the fact that out of the controllers that I've owned for this current console generation, basically all of them have malfunctioned to some degree. Whereas in the previous generation, perfectly fine. Doing the heal thing. It's taking my time. Alright, there we go. Perhaps, to be fair, in this particular case, the keyboard lasted three to four years. But do, do you think that's still too short? I don't know. It's decent, but it could be better. Ugh. Defense is not looking good. All 
I don't know, that might be like me sounding like an old man. Back in my day, stuff was built to last. But I don't know. <laughs> it just feels that way with some stuff. I can't tell you how many USB hubs I've purchased, like... Before I got this computer, I was buying a USB hub... ...annually. Because <laughs> it wasn't worth chasing up the whole warranty thing, it's just like, ah, it's not worth it. Personally, one of the worst examples would be the charging cords for phones, or USB cords in general. Yep. For sure. Particularly those ones that have, um, I don't know how to describe it, but like, a, it feels like they're waxy, if you know what I mean. Like, they have a texture to it. The texture feels sticky when they start wearing out. And every time I get one of those cables, I know that that cable's going to be dead within six months. And it always is. Your diet on the mountain of those things were are literally built to break immediately. Yeah. I mean, there are people that don't take care of stuff, right? Like, that's always a thing, but there's also a case of just, there are things that just don't last. No matter how careful you are with them. And those cables are definitely one of them. Again, I reached like floor 40 something not being here the whole day. Like, I feel like I could reach 100 if I put effort into it. I might try it. On the Sunday. Then I have some staircases and we can see how it goes. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, wait, I don't have a room. Okay, that's it. False alarm. Okay. I was gonna say, there's no way I didn't get enough for a totem. Alright. Away we go. That and modern controllers. Yeah, no. Uh, I've had the same experience. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, it doesn't matter. Every controller has had drift. Nintendo more than anything else, but the others as well. Okay. Uh, so we want to be smelting. I think the more important thing is just, are they going to change it? Because the issue is being identified, right? It's like, that's why we have these kits that are sold nowadays that um, prevent that stuff. Guess we'll see. I am saying I'm gonna give some. Yeah, it was the whole hype train thing. Alright, there we go. I can go in. Let me just quickly look at the wiki and just check uh, the the merchants. I want to see. 
Um, we want the chance to find coal being doubled. Desert Trader. Staircases are on Sunday, so Sunday will be... will be it. Okay. All right, sorry, I was finishing my tea. Colder weather has happened and now I'm making tea again. Neutral. I'll still go. Okay, it's Granny's birthday. Just give her a flower, it'll be alright. Also, have tea, what kind have I got? Uh, I have a pomegranate tea. It's pretty good. I was expecting more. I haven't checked in a while, so. Yeah, I've gotten a lot more into tea. Okay, so with driftwood, you want to put it in a wood chipper because you get better return on it than you would with the recycler. So that's why I'm treating it differently. Unless they've changed it. I'm pretty sure they haven't. I need to get the rest of it because it's in the uh, other chest. Okay, that means the other logs are ready too. Tea that I got for uh for Christmas was uh this there was like this mango summer tea. It was great. I tried to go get some more, but they were out, so I was sad about that. But it was a good iced tea mix. Alright, so I'm going to buy a duck. If someone wants to name the duck, come up with a name before I get there. And a rabbit. For the sake of completion. If you have a name. Hair and balloon flower. What's balloon flower? I mean, if you recommend, I might look for it at, at an Asian grocery. There's one right next to the tea place that I got stuff from. You kidding? I don't have one of these in here? All right. Uh, thinking. I guess I gotta go do the birthday thing, huh? That's her favorite thing, so I'm gonna go give her that.
I'm just taking this so I can move quicker. The other mushroom logs are done. Yeah, I mean, so the distribution on this is going to be interesting. But hopefully that should have masked to something. At least being able to stock this up each time. Okay. Um, I guess while I'm at it, let's keep upgrading. The watering can is kind of the least of my concerns. I'll do this one. I'll go for the, uh, the hoe. I almost picked trash can. You don't know how to describe the flower, but you put the tea got on Discord. Let me have a look. I am intrigued. Oh. Balloon flower and pear tea. Interesting. I'll have a look around for it. I mean, I assume I can find it at an Asian grocery. It's nothing crazy, very subtle and soothing. No, no. It doesn't have to be something crazy, but... Hey, as long as it's good. We'll definitely take a look. Wow, the next one's four kegs. That's a pretty sizable reward, that. Uh, okay, we're getting four kegs. <laughs> That's easy. Okay, so I can- I can see that this has been improved. It is w worth upgrading the pan. Okay, so this is just gonna be a quick- Quick look through here. Are you kidding me? Prismatic shot. <laughs> I have ridiculous luck when it comes to prismatic shards, but once I start finding them, I find one every stream. And people get annoyed at me because I just keep finding them. In my multiplayer file, I think I'm at a total of, uh, what, like, 15? Whilst my friend Cat has found two. Just be as quick as I can. I don't want to spend too much time, yeah? There's another one. What did, it, what did it even come from? It was from a kill. It wasn't from mining. Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright, that's it. Uh, while I'm here, I may as well. Alright. I'm gonna go redeem... Who do I talk to? Lewis, most likely? Lewis. Actually, while I'm here... May as well. Nice. Did 
Do I just get two Dwarf Scrolls as well? Okay, I'll see if I can get out of this. I'll donate the shard. I need to donate one anyway. Nice. It should be a little easier to go swung now thanks to your efforts. Okay. Sometimes he says weird things when you uh, do the slime quests. Like something about ruining a pair of pants. Good reward. The next the next ones are kinda decent too. Is Alex around? I think that's the reason his friendship just isn't high enough. It's because I just haven't run into him. He's just not around. Um, Granny is out here, so let's give the birthday present before we forget. No, don't eat it. Um. Yeah, okay. They're, they're good. Uh, what about Krobus? Okay, Krobus is sorted for this week. I'm hoping by the end of the second year I won't have to worry about friendships. It'll all be just sorted. Okay, uh, that, that, that. May as well just sell that. Yeah, yeah, I'll sell it. Don't need that. Well, I guess if I want to make the pasta, it's probably more valuable as a pasta thing. I I realize how messy this is, but hey, what what is it doing? I can't place it there. Really? Okay, that's fine. Let's go around the corner. There we go. Even though it is past 4 p.m., I'm still gonna go to mines because good use of time. I've gotten pretty lucky, so we'll see. Okay, we're covered. Don't eat it. Just making sure. Swap to Crusader Sword. It's weaker, but at least they die. It's worth taking them out as well, because they're going to give cloth and stuff. Oh, okay. It's just, it tells you what they like. <laughs> All right, Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic, but he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. There are only a few older bachelors in town and none of them are perfect. Harvey is anxious and weak. And I know he would make a loyal, devoted husband. He likes, who wrote this? 
Shane is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior is a defense mechanism insinuating, oh sorry, insulating his softness from the world. Okay. I don't know who wrote that. Yeah, I mean, look at this. It's gotta be the luck ring. I didn't think plus one luck would make that much of a difference, but it seems to be. We'll see how tomorrow goes. If it's a very lucky day, I'm just gonna go after the traveling merchant. Go straight to the desert. I'll be okay. Okay. You have a luck ring and haven't been this lucky. I don't know what to tell you. Part of it, you can say it's streamer luck, but at the same time, it's me. Like, I have very chaotic luck. I can have very bad luck, and I can also have very good luck. I glitch games constantly, like, you've seen what happens when I play games. another staircase. I mean, I think with about 20 or so, I'll be okay. The amount of free food I've gotten. Okay, that's in real life, but yes. But it's also, like, with the misfortune of just the delivery service messing up. That hasn't happened in a while. It's, it's been a minute, but granted I am using them less. Because it's just stupidly expensive. And it's just not worth it. It's the quality... By the time it gets to you, it's just... Unless the place is right around the corner, it's, it's not worth it. These days, I, I pretty much only use it for pizza, because that's within the realm of being fine. It's like, pizza's fine to be delivered. But then most other foods, they just... Given how long they take, and a lot of the time, they just double your order up with someone else's, and they say along the way, but it's not really along the way. Just... You're kind of eating just bad food. <laughs> at that point. I'm paying a ridiculous fee to get it delivered. A premium and a fee, I should say. Oh, but they've been... they've been behaving. I've been cooking a lot, lot more. Oh. 
I like cooking. I think the thing that I don't like is the cleaning up. That's the part that gets me. But the things that I'm making, the cleanup is is more minimal. These mummies, <laughs> they're gonna give me clop. I don't have that much time left anyway, so. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell those curiosity laws. It just increases your chance to encounter rare fish, which. Hmm, I have an idea. Actually, let's... Let's put a pin in that. I have... I have an idea. I wonder if that works for the lava eel, because if it does... Smoking lava eels is pretty... pretty profitable. So if I can just... Use it to get a bunch of lava eel... I could make a bunch of money real quick. Can the kill knock them out with my normal sword and then tap them when they're down? That's a good question. Not sure. Maybe. I just assume they become invulnerable when they collapse, but we can try. But this is the first time I have found a weapon that has had some use. <laughs> An extended amount of use, because usually you find something and then it gets replaced pretty quickly. So this is the first time where I'm like, this is kind of cool. I'm dual wielding. I'll hang on to these, because if this lava eel thing works the way I think it does, then it might be worth it. Uh, but we'll leave it for now. I'm gonna go collect the stuff, since it's got a little bit of time. I got time. <laughs> as long as I'm in bed at 1.50. Everything's fine. Alright, let's see how the luck is. I hit some milestone. All right, what? You know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> that's that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it like that. See what I mean? Luck will not be on your side. Hmm. <laughs> Hardwood, 10 pieces. Yeah, well, that's easy. I'm not going to stress too much about getting there on time, but we'll still take the jade and stuff. I have 40 bombs. Like, I'm going to bring them. I have 15 jade. So here's the thing.
That should do. Yeah? That's prepared. Um, let's take this. So I'm just gonna quickly do the morning stuff. Don't care too much about the crab pots, it's like small time money. So, what I'm going to do... I'm gonna put this here just for now. I know. I'm gonna bring... Triple shot. So we're moving at, like, top speed. Let's, let's just see. Let's just see how we go. Yep. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Pick this up, because that's a good food supply. They do heal for quite a bit. Alright, let's go. Let's see. And if it's going poorly, I can just not commit to it, but I want to see. Okay, on. need to make a little adjustment, so I'm not scrolling this far. Oh, hold on, I forgot one thing. Sorry, I just started. I forgot to trade the jade. Uh -huh. Alright, there we go. Okay. False start, it's okay. Don't think it'll matter too much. At least I realize right away. But yeah, let's test this out. I'm curious. Of course that's gonna- oh, of course that happened. Okay, so kill it, and then hit it with this. Nope, doesn't work. So you have to... You have to make sure that it doesn't go down. You can probably get a couple swipes in, but... I feel like at that point it's just easier to attack with the gold sword, you know? That's very handy. I can stay out. We can push it. Not wasting time. The floors that I like using these on is the spiral floor. It's annoying to walk around. And you can't really use bombs efficiently. And then anything that's infested. Just time killers. Oh, this is one of the new floors. See how we go. pretty well, given it's not a lucky day. Then 
I don't have the extra luck either from the, uh, the charm upgrade you get. Ugh, that's kind of an empty floor. Okay. It looks good if I'm, like, at around floor 50 at about 2 p.m. That's, I think, good. It's worth committing to if I can achieve that. I'll be okay. Eat a spicy eel just so it's a quicker heal. And take another triple shot so we're moving around max speed. Okay. I'm still gonna set it off. It budgeted for like one bomb per floor, so if it reveals a mine shaft, great. Looking horrible. Oh, nice. Damn it. Just a nominee geode. Too afraid of explosions. Let's eat. I might use a skip here actually. Using a skip here. Just any time I need to walk a long distance and there's not a whole lot of rocks around, using a skip. I mean, okay, it's like roughly what I said. 2 p.m. It's floor 50-ish. Just needs to keep up the pace, that's all. This is kind of unlucky. Oh no. What is going on? Where's my ladder? Okay, lose it.
That's nice. Sack. Uh, what are we ditching? Bone. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. It's slow down quite a bit. Just need a few more lucky mine shafts, and we'll get there. Tell you what, I've been lucky with these uh, minecarts though. They, most of them have had coal in them. Trying to move. Okay, we've lost our triple shot buff. Now it's normal speed ish. Time it's down to just going to different corners to try and find the exit, just ladder. Okay, hey, good, 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 good. We're in there. I think we're in there. I think we're gonna get it. This is the first real attempt as well. Okay, that's excellent. Again, I can be out super late. I'm just going to do that, because that's just going to be a hassle to deal with. <laughs> Another prismatic shard. That's two for the for this stream. Hold on. There's coal over there. It's worth it. I want the cult. Um, let's set one off. Okay. Really? Surprising. Okay. Ultimately worthwhile. Five floors, I'll take that. Let's so we don't accidentally brick it. <laughs> Do this. I think I've got this. This why it's, I don't know, lucky day, not lucky day. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't matter. These things are annoying, but... 
What can you do? It's just Sam's favorite items. Nice. We're basically there. I'm skipping this floor. Too many bats. Way too many bats. Pick your battles. Skipping this floor because it's annoying. <laughs> and there you go, first try. All right. Well, 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 you made it. Come closer now, don't be shy. He's gonna make a comment on how many stairs I use. It's all right. I heard you were attempting a deep dive into these caverns today. I had to see for myself. Impressive, very impressive. Making it all the way down here is quite a feat. Although you did skip a bunch of level of crafting staircases. Clever, I'm sure, but not very honorable. Yeah, but you still get the reward. Drink the milk. Drink the purple milk. Okay. Yeah, cool. And it's only 9 p.m. We got plenty of time. May as well take advantage of this while I'm here. I don't know if that was stream of luck or what, but hey, did it. I mean, it's kind of an annoying room. The hell? <laughs> didn't want to place it. Oh, that's not cool. This is even worse. Hang on. I don't have the ability to craft them yet. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. It's even worse. Alright, back to normal. At least these things drop good things. Oh, come on, game. I want to explore more. Not cool. This is why I skipped that one floor that had four or five of these kind of lurking. They're not a pain to take out. It's just, it does eat up time. Alright, well, if I, at the very least, if I didn't finish the bundles in the first year because of my stupidity, I at least redeemed myself with this. I got this done in the first year. Alright, well, I wouldn't say stupidity. Like, carelessness. Carelessness. That's another prismatic shard. That's what, three today? Three. May as well. I don't want to wake that thing. Ah, oh, too late. Okay, there's more coal over there. I love how I could not go too much further. Okay, I need to leave. Um, okay, that works. I think I'm good. 
plenty of time left over. Okay, let's do some redeems. Um, what have I got? Okay, that can go here. I'm gonna get some of these. I guess I, well... No, I'll hang on to the jade. I will need more staircases, just not anytime soon. All right, cool. That worked. One sec. Very quickly. Does it? It's just, just a small little detour. Put the bombs away so nothing tragic happens. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly do the thing I couldn't do this morning. Well, I chose not to do it, so then we could spend more time in the mines. There you go, I got everything done. Uh, let's not push it. <laughs> Get to bed. Ah! Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> that little... Oh, oh, oh. Did you... Did you see that? Anyone? No? Okay. It just sort of shoved me to the right. <laughs> don't don't worry, just another another glitch, it's it's fine. Um, alright, well. Do it again. Well, Knowing me, I, I probably will. Alright, uh, well, with this file, I keep it to about a week of gameplay every time. So, that's a week of gameplay. Uh, thanks for tuning in if you're watching this later on YouTube as well as a replay. I hope you are enjoying the playthrough. Or finding it useful if you're a beginner, because I have tried to, like, talk things out a bit more this time around. If you do want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things by clicking any of those videos that pop up at the end. That stuff does help out a lot, so thanks to those that do that. Appreciate it a lot. And we'll continue this soon. <laughs>